Hi, I'm Emily Rose. And I'm Dan Philgreen. Welcome to the weekend edition of Shell Point Today for September 21st, 22nd, and 23rd. We're getting your weekend going by getting an in-depth look at the start of Active Aging Week. And I am joined by some of the fun girls in our department. <laughs> and on September 28th, we're going to be a part of Acting Active Aging Week. David Pavey drops by to offer another inspiring devotional. In time, it was crushed by ice flows and sank, leaving the 28 explorers stranded on the pack ice. And it's the weekend, which means we're taking a look back at some of the top stories from this past week. But first, we're getting ready for our look back on this day in history. And it was September 22, 1862, when President Abraham Lincoln issued a preliminary Emancipation Proclamation, which set the date for the freedom of more than three million black slaves in the United States. It also served as the recasting of the ongoing Civil War, making the battle over slavery the primary focus of the conflict. Lincoln stated that slaves in areas still in rebellion would be freed within 100 days. On January 1st of the next year, Lincoln made the Emancipation Proclamation official and established black military units among the Union forces. And an estimated 180,000 newly freed African Americans went on to serve in the Army, while another 18,000 would enlist in the U.S. Navy. While the proclamation would free all men, slavery would not be officially abolished until the passing of the 13th Amendment in 1865. Well, you've heard us talk about it all week long, and this Monday, Active Aging Week officially begins. The celebration kickstarts with an island trail walk and outdoor workout. At 8 a.m., meet outside the Village Church, where you will get an invigorating start to your morning. You'll make your way around the island, making strategic stops that will feature a specific workout for each location. Get your water, bring your shades, and start your Active Aging Week with an exciting workout. Then you can give your feet a rest by attending the Nuisance of Heel Pain presentation at 11 a.m. in the Grand Cypress Room. Join Dr. Chelsea Viola as she breaks down some of the common causes of heel pain, including plantar fasciitis, Achilles tendonitis, and bone spurs. You'll learn all about the various treatments available and have the opportunity to have any of your heel pain questions or concerns answered. If you or anyone you know is suffering from any sort of heel pain, then this is the perfect presentation for you. Then wrap up your Monday's Active Aging Week celebration by attending the Use It or Lose It program. Lee Health's Dr. Sal is coming back to Shell Point to lead this informative presentation. He looks to share his mission to motivate, educate, and empower people to improve their health by making better lifestyle choices. Learn how incorporating a healthy diet and physical activity can slow the aging process. If you want to attend Dr. Sal's latest health-minded program, then grab a seat at 2 p.m. in the Grand Cypress Room this Monday. Active Aging Week will roll right through next week with plenty of great activities. That includes next Friday's Island Yard Games. We caught up with Beth Crenshaw, who is joining with some smiling faces for a preview of what's to come. <laughs> 